I would like to make a toast to Rachel and Joey. Oh, I... <laughs> and to love. <laughs> ah, love. <laughs> L-O-V-E, love. L is for life. And what is life without love? Oh, my God, are we supposed to answer? <laughs> o is for... Oh, wow! <laughs> the V is for this very surprising turn of events, which I am still fine with, by the way. I find it that you two are together. Janice likes to cuddle at night, mm. which, you know, I'm all for. But, uh, you know, when you want to go to sleep, you want some space. So, uh, you know, how do I tell her that without, you know, accidentally calling her fat or something? <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm sorry. We can't help you there because we're cuddly sleepers. Mm. Okay, the sleeping thing. <laughs> Very tricky business, but there is something you can do. Well, I thought you guys were cuddly sleeping. No. <laughs> no, not cuddly, not me, just her. I'm like you. I need the room. <clears throat> okay, come here. <clears throat> okay, you're in bed. Yeah. I'm gonna use the cushion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're in bed. She's over on your side, cuddling. Now, you wait for her to drift off, and then you hug her and roll her over to her side of the bed. <laughs> and then you roll away. <laughs> hug for her. <laughs> Roll for you. <laughs> okay, the old hug and roll. Yep. You think you can knock up my daughter and then not marry her? I'm gonna kill you! You know, this is actually not a great time for me. <laughs> so, come on! Explain yourself, Geller. First you get my Rachel pregnant? You got Rachel pregnant? Who did? You did! Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I did, but but it was it was just a one-night thing. It meant nothing. Oh, really? That's what my daughter means to you? Nothing? No, no, sir. Um, she means a lot to me. I mean, I, I care I, I love Rachel. What? Oh, but not in that way. I mean <laughs> I mean, I'm not in love with her. I love her like, like a friend. Oh, really? That's how you treat a friend? You get her in trouble and then you refuse to marry her? Hey, I offered to marry her. What? But I didn't want to. <laughs> well, why not? So you can spend your time with this tramp? Tramp? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Green, Mona, Mona, Dr. Green. <laughs> All of this from me. I, I was going to tell you, but... But what? You figure you get what you wanted, then you dump her like you did Rachel. Hey, I did not dump Rachel, nor are we still together. <laughs> oh, um, can I just... <laughs> Why don't we just let the machine get that? Hey, Ross, it's Joey. There's a hooker over here, and we thought maybe you'd know something about it. <laughs> I need to lie down. <laughs> now, um, remember, I'm still learning. Okay. One, two, three, four! Sing along. 
so? No. no. That's not enough. Look, I studied karate for a long time. <laughs> And there's a concept you should really be familiar with. It's what the Japanese call unagi. Isn't that a kind of sushi? No, it's a concept. Yeah, it is, it is. It's freshwater eel. <laughs> but maybe it means that too. Oh, I would kill for a salmon skin roll right now. <laughs> no, fine, get attacked. I don't even care. <laughs> Ross, we're sorry. Please tell us what it is. Unagi is a state of total awareness. Okay? Only by achieving true unagi can you be prepared for any danger that may befall you. You mean in case someone's trying to steal your bamboo sleeping mat or your kettle of fish? <laughs> All I'm saying is, it's one thing being prepared for an attack against, like, each other. Whole nother story being prepared for an attack. I don't know, like, surprise! <laughs> Danger! 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 What the hell was that? A lesson in the importance of unagi. <laughs> Now I'm curious, at what point during those girlish screams would you have begun to kick my ass? All right, so we weren't prepared. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic measures to make my point, but I, look, I just want you guys to be safe. Oh. Danger! <laughs> Uh huh, Unagi. <laughs>get some hugs in too, huh? Big news! No, that's okay. We've actually known for a while. What? 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 You guys...
always knew you... You all knew and you didn't tell me? Well, Ross, we were worried about you, okay? We didn't know how you were going to react. Mm. <laughs> you were worried about me? You didn't know how I was going to react? Thanks for letting me stay here. I mean, Monica's place was nice, but her fiancé sure stares a lot. Oh, my God. A great Chandler. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the knack for impressions. Well, maybe after we get reacquainted, uh, you could do me. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Cassie, how you how you doing on that hot dog? <laughs> I'm all done. Thank God. <laughs> I guess the last time we really hung out was when our parents went to that beach house together. Oh, right, right. Oh, re remember the time I, uh, I pinned you down and tickled you until you cried? <laughs> <laughs> We're probably too old to do that now. I'll always remember that summer, because it's when I got all these freckles. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and I'll always remember that summer, because that's when I realized that we are related. You know, we're not just two random people thrown together. We share genetic material. It took you that long to figure it out, huh? I'm, I'm a little slow. <laughs> just as our children would be. She's your cousin. She's your cousin. If she knew what was going on in your head, she'd think you were sick. <laughs> or would she? Let's back up for a second. She was the one who suggested opening a bottle of wine. She was the one who turned down the lights. She was the one that wanted to rent Logan's Run, the sexiest movie ever. <laughs> Oh, I know that book. Forget it. I want it. She wants it. I'm going in. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Say something clever. Okay, doesn't have to be clever, just has to be words. Say some words. Any words will do. Oh my God, this is the longest that anyone has not talked ever. There is nothing you can say to make this worse, so just say something. I, I, I haven't had sex in a very long time. <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't have said anything. Hello? Joey, it's Ross. I need some help. Uh, Chandler's not here. Well, you can help me. Okay. Listen, I'm in Elizabeth's bathroom. Nice. No, I, I got really hot in my leather pants, so I took them off. But they must have shrunk from the, the sweat or something, or, or my legs expanded from the heat. I, but I, I can't get them back on, Joey. I can't. Oh, that is quite a situation. Uh, do you see any, like, powder? What? Powder, yeah, yeah, I have powder. Good, good, okay. Sprinkle some of that on your legs. It'll absorb some of the moisture, and then you can get your pants back on. Yeah, hold, yeah, hold on. They're not 
coming on, man. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Cut slits in the pants, right? Then put them back on, go out there, and tell you the Incredible Hulk. Chandler's not there, huh? Well, that would have worked, but all right, fine. Um, you see any, uh, oh, Vaseline. Oh, I, I see lotion. I have lotion. Will that work? Yeah, sure. Throw some of that on there. Hold on. I've made a paste. Really? Uh, what color is it? What difference does that make? Well, I'm just, if the paste matches the pants, you can make yourself a pair of paste pants and she won't know the difference. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, I was so nervous about that letter. <laughs> but the way you owned up to everything, it just showed me how much you've grown, you know? I suppose. <laughs> you have, Ross. You have. You should give yourself credit. I mean, my mom never thought this would work out. <laughs> she was all, once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just wish we hadn't lost those four months. But if time was what you needed just to gain a little perspective... <laughs> we were on a break! Coffee house? You bet. <laughs> and for the record, it took two people to break up this relationship. Yeah! You and that girl from the coffee place, which yesterday you took full responsibility for. I didn't know what I was taking responsibility for, okay? I didn't finish the whole letter. What? I fell asleep. You fell asleep? <laughs> it was 5.30 in the morning, and you had rambled on for 18 pages. <laughs> Front and back! <laughs> oh, 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 and by the way, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E means you are. Y-O-U-R means you're. You know, I can't believe I even thought of getting back together with you. We are so over. Uh, fine by me! Oh, oh, and hey, hey, hey! Those little spelling tips will come in handy when you're at home on Saturday nights playing Scrabble with Monica. Hey! Sorry. I just feel bad about all that sleep you're gonna miss wishing you were with me. Oh, no, no, don't you worry about me falling asleep. I still have your letter! And hey, just so 